Welcome everyone, in this Flutter deep dive, we will be taking a look at how you can improve the reordering of list view items in a Flutter list. So there are multiple reasons that you may want to do this. One good example is in a chat application when you actually have a reverse list with the items being added to the bottom of the list. And to quickly illustrate this example, you can see that on the list, we have a messages list that uses the stream chat Flutter package. And as you can see, once you add a new item to the list or a new message, that the entire list view repaints. All of the items are repainting. And on the right, you can see that we resolve this issue and that once you add a new message, the only thing that gets repainted is the new message. So in this video, using an easy to understand example, we're gonna explore how you can do the same in your custom applications. So to illustrate what we did with the stream chat Flutter list view, we're gonna simplify this whole demo and just use a standard list view and um, make the code a little bit more readable for this demo. So in this example, you can see that we have a normal list view in Flutter and if we add a new message, it gets added to the bottom. So this list is not reversed and there's nothing special going on. If we actually take a look at the code, you can see that we have this list of messages and the messages class is just an ID with a string message. And you can see that the ID is a unique identifier that gets generated on the fly. Then if we take a look at the actual code or the widget, you can see we have a column and in the column, we have an expanded widget that is a list view builder. And this list view builder takes in the length of the messages as the item count. And we have an item builder that builds something that's called a message widget that just takes in a message. And the message widget is uh, this widget that you can see over here. And finally, we have a container at the bottom that is just the text field where we also pass in a text editing controller. And on submit for the text editing controller, we call add new message. And this clears the text editing controller and also add the value to the message list. So a simple example of how to add a message to a list. So let's explore this a bit further and actually open our dev tools. So we're gonna say dart open dev tools and we're gonna open it in a web browser. And once dev tools are open, all you need to do is go to the highlight repaints and select that. And now we should be getting repaints in our application. So as an example, you can see that the text box is repainting as the cursor is highlighting. So as you can see, let's say repaint and send a message. You can see that the only item that was actually repainted here was the new item that was added to the message list. And that is perfect. So by default, Flutter actually does this logic for you when you have a standard list view that's from top to bottom without you needing to do anything on your side. But let's change our example for this list to go from the bottom to the top, something you would actually see in a message application. And to do that, what we will do is in the list view, we will set this to be reverse and we will set the reverse to be true. And now you can see it's building from the bottom. However, in a message application, you would actually want the first message in the list to be at the top as when we send a new message, you would not want that to be at the top, you would want it to be at the bottom. And as you can see with this reverse list, Flutter is still not repainting the new items that are added. But you will see once we change the logic for this new one to be added at the bottom, then Flutter will actually be repainting all of these items. So let's change the order of this messages list. There are multiple ways that we can do it. A simple way is just to change the index that we return. So what we will do is we will say messages.length and we'll, we'll subtract one and then also subtract the index. Now, if we save this and take a look at the list, you can see that new messages are added at the bottom. However, as you would note now, the entire list repainted. So as you can see, everything is repainting. So if we send this, everything changed colors. So this means that Flutter is recreating all of these elements and render objects, meaning we lose track of the state that was associated with the widget. And it also means that Flutter is doing extra work from a rendering perspective to repaint all of these items. It is actually quite simple to solve this problem. All you need to do is you need to now tell Flutter 
what the new position of the items are once you update the list as Flutter can no longer automatically keep track of them. So I'm just gonna select all of this and paste in updated code, and then we can explore the changes together. So as you can see, we changed our list view builder to be a list view custom. We have reversed all set as true, and uh, we are now using a children delegate with a sliver child builder delegate. This gets a context and the index, and then we're getting the message from the list of messages. The big thing that has changed is we are now passing in a value key as the key attribute, with the value being the message ID. And this is important because we're using this value key in this callback called find child index callback, which gets the key and expects you to return an integer. So it expects you to return the position of the item with the given key. And we do that by first casting the key as a value key, because we know that it is a value key. And then we need to find the key position in the list. And we do that by calling index where on our list of messages. And we are checking to see where the messages ID is the same as the value keys dot value. And then after we get this item position, we just need to return where this is in the list, the actual list view that Flutter renders. And here we're using the same logic as here, where we are getting the message from the index. If you were to display this differently, so for example, just the index, then you would obviously here just return the value. You can also explore other ways of getting the index position. For example, you can store a map with the ID value, keeping track of the current index. So instead of looping the entire messages list each time, that could be a more optimal way to do it. And that is actually how the stream chat flutter package does it. But for demonstration purposes, this is perfect. So now that we've implemented all of this, let's restart our application. And now you should see that when we add a new message, it will not repaint the entire list. It will just repaint the new message. And fantastic. You've just improved your chat app's rendering performance.